Welcome to the Star Trek Excalibur UI Elements video guide. I am Eric, a member of the UI team, your voiceover. The UI team is pleased to present the first look at the building blocks that will be utilized to create the highly dynamic and easily moddable interfaces that are required for SDE while holding to an inspired Elkar's feel. This video is a screencast of our base guide, allowing us to easily inform, adapt, and show off the different types of UI elements. To start things off, we will take a look at the font selection. John did an excellent job setting down the base standards for usage and style settings, as shown here. Now on to the most basic type of element presented here, the single button. These elements are formed by using either the vertical or the horizontal button stack class, but for example's sake, we will use the vertical version here. The basic code is simple, just a UL li list with a class on the parent UL, thus defining the button. Buttons have hover and click events to help the user navigate and interact with the interface. The UI team has been proactive by addressing possible visual flaws, allowing for a wide variance on base settings to maintain a cohesive look and feel. Now we get to see the buttons used in a more advanced fashion. Utilizing the same class as used with the single buttons, we can add additional LI content to create a full button stack. No button is complete without a dropdown. Our drop-down content is held within a singular div. We chose this route because it allows us to add any type of content we need into the menu space. The default, shown here, is just a simple scrolling list. Single buttons can also have drop-downs. They work the same as a full stack because they are essentially the same thing. We implemented a base feature of jQuery to allow users to rearrange button stacks. Through the use of CSS conditionals, button and drop-down container styles adapt depending on where the button sits. One of the neat features we were able to add is the theme framework. If you've all noticed, all the elements so far have been rather blocky. While that works for some Elkar's layouts, we needed more. The block style is simply the default look. To apply a new theme, add a second class to the parent UL element indicating what type of theme you would like to use. In total, we have six different types of styles making for a large combination of interfaces possible, all with the same code. Next up, we have the horizontal version of the button stacks. As with the vertical stacks, the horizontal version has the same code structure. The nice thing with the horizontal buttons is that we put into play a, just a small bit of JavaScript to dynamically set the button widths, eliminating the need to do math. This example is where we as a team want UI creation to be seamless and as simple as possible. If there is a button within a horizontal stack that you want to stay a specific width, you can add a secondary class to that specific button. The same JavaScript referenced a second ago is used to dynamically create the other button widths to compensate for the set button width. As with the vertical buttons, the horizontal buttons also have a theme framework. It works exactly the same except for the class theme name uses the letter H instead of V. This last segment is a collection of special elements that have been requested by other STE team members. First up, we have a button stack tree. This element is designed to hold sub-buttons instead of other content. The end cap is positioned to the left to visually show that this element is not a normal button stack. Again, this element has a theme framework attached, same type of class name. At the moment, there is just the default block style and the pill style. Radio buttons are, of course, a needed part of any UI, and we have our set. Similar to a radio button is the toggle switch. With its specific use of one or the other, we can quickly make toggles for multiple functions. The slider element is a fun element. We not only get the functionality of a slider, but an easy way to input custom data without having to rely on guesswork to decide a slide position. The generic jQuery dialog box is a nice little plugin, but for STE, it was decided that it would be better to create our own. This dialog box shown is a fully functional, custom created plugin that allows us to know exactly what the code is doing and maintain control over the styling without any worry. 
All the top border buttons call an automatic close function. We can add drag and drop plus resizing functionality by marking these arguments as true. Up to three custom buttons can be applied, else the single close button will be displayed. Along with the custom buttons, we can add our own functions. For this example, we simply change the opacity setting of the page wrapper for a second. The last feature of the dialog box is the model flag. This forces the user to interact with the UI in some fashion. This was just a quick run-through of the basics. For more information and to ask questions, please join us in discussions via Facebook, Twitter, and our forums. Thank you.